In today's video, we find out if the Yu-Gi-Oh! Walmart Mystery Power Box is better than the Pokemon Walmart Mystery Box. What's up, guys? We're back with another Mystery Box opening. We have one of the new Mystery Power Boxes from Yu-Gi-Oh! itself versus the Pokemon Mystery Power Box I picked up just the other day in my Walmart video. I heard that these are kind of lit. Maybe I'll grab one of these. There's one left. I might get this. I mean, I'm pretty excited for this. I mean, they have Neo Genesis on the cover. Probably not in here. I mean, the chances are pretty low, but apparently there are chase packs inserted. I'm assuming that's one of them. I don't know how likely it is, but if we did get a Neo Genesis pack, that would be really insane. We pull a Lugia be very amazing so before we do that we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these two bpt secret rares you have xyz dragon cannon and gear free the iron knight all you have to do like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below which will win Yu-Gi-Oh or pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh costs five more dollars so we're going to subtract five dollars from the total at the end to make it fair all right guys because this is a Yu-Gi-Oh video let's start off with pokemon and see what we can get out of the pokemon pack i mean if it starts off with neo genesis pack it's going to be tough to beat there's also supposedly evolving skies already pulled a Moombreon off camera of course but I have pulled it before but never for you guys it'd be pretty cool we have done a few semi Pokemon like half Pokemon or even a full Pokemon openings in the last few months uh, it's not been a crazy amount compared to how many videos we do but it has been increased from what we had done before so I've just been enjoying it a little bit throwing in a little variety we did one piece the other day throwing in some other stuff not that I wanted to take over Yu-Gi-Oh obviously but it is nice to have a little variance every once in a while especially when we can mix it with a Yu-Gi-Oh opening make it kind of both okay I don't know what we're gonna start with we're gonna start there is an evolving skies pack that's not bad actually get an evolving skies pack potential Moonbreon $500 Pokemon card that's huge I mean Sylveon's on the front let's see we'll start off with this that's probably gonna be the best pack we actually get I mean to be honest that's really good there's only five packs in here so we need to pull something good to actually win if we're Pokemon uh, we have a that probably ruined if there's something in here or not I'm not really sure what the pack trick is I'm just gonna do three that seems safe we have a treasure energy I really don't know we're gonna have to wait till we hit the uh, foil ribbon badge Avalog. This is a really cool Pokemon. I was playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the other day. I played it a lot and then I stopped for months and I got back on it. This is actually a cool looking Pokemon in that game. I mean, I kind of like it. The flat, like, it's like you got chopped in half. We got Dwebble, Mareep. I mean, just really cool Pokemon. Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus. We found that. That was hilarious when Twitch chat donated 20 subs to make me catch Phoebus and Emerald. We caught it in like 10 minutes. It was hilarious. We have a Boost Shake, which if you don't know, is a very hard card to pull or up. Uh, card to pull pokemon to catch same thing basically uh and then the evil so yeah looks like it was four from the back there and i don't think we really got anything there so it's a slow start for the uh the pokemon mystery power box next is the silver tempest pack i have opened a lot of these packs looking for the lugia and i never got it so if i get it here i'm gonna be very happy i don't care if pokemon beats Oh. it will be worth it because that that thing looks amazing i don't know how to not okay i feel like i feel like i might have a little spoiler right there not trying to spoil it for you guys because i know people don't like when you do that but uh i accidentally did it i can't i should have i shouldn't have mentioned it i'm not in front of let's just go v guard ponytail if we get a lugia right here i'm gonna be pumped then not any lugia at all do spider spend i feel like last time we did a pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh thing we got a gold lugia so that's pretty nice spend a v or that was all pokemon actually oh okay a ray hand that is a secret i guess or it's in the reverse slot i think oh and a, we did get a lugia so it's not like the big one it's just a lugia v but that's a pretty good pack we got two hits with one of them being lugia that might be like a ten dollar card that's pretty solid i don't know about this guy full art ultra throwing an ultra ball very cool i can't complain about what we're doing so far uh what is this Pokemon Go? I never open any Pokemon Go packs. I do play Pokemon Go, though. So if you want to add me, get in Discord. Uh, the Discord's in the description. You can get in there for free and go to the Pokemon Go channel. My I posted my trainer thing there. You can add me. Almost have 200 friends now. So if you want to be one of my friends, uh, I'm not super consistent with gifts, but I do my best because there are a lot of people and I run out of gifts. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we can get here. We have Psychic Energy. Is that the third straight Psychic Energy? That's the third straight Psychic Energy. Is that like telling us something that we're going to get three in a row? that's pretty weird actually we got camera up we have a blanche ibisar charmander eevee normal eradicate we've got a tranquil gyarados reverse that's pretty cool and 
Pikachu. All right, I don't know if there's anything even big in the Pokemon Go set. I would be surprised if there was. All right, couple more packs. By the way, if you haven't followed my uh, my Pokemon channel, uh, Pokerox is what it's called. Go check it out. Almost 5K subs. Pretty excited about that. Lost Origin. We've done some Nuzlocks on there. It's been pretty fun. It's not a card opening channel, so don't don't get any ideas. It's just for uh, Nuzlocks and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. We do those on Twitch. There's another code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. So, I mean, this is honestly not a terrible mystery box. If there's actually potential at like getting a, you know, a Neo Genesis or something, it's not bad. I can't imagine them just throwing a Neo Genesis in that box with no like protection or anything. We have Snover, Jinx, Inkay, Gudra, and Cresselia. All right, a couple more hollows. Gudra's pretty cool. Pretty strong Pokemon, actually. And our final pack. We haven't gotten our little, our little coin out yet, but we'll do that last. Okay, we have a Brilliant Star. So a bunch of like current packs, but they are not... Scarlet and Violet, which actually I think people prefer because Scarlet and Violet have those weird like double reverses and they have, they're like kind of silver on the sides. I think Sword and Shield is like more what people are looking for at the moment. So probably actually pretty decent for a mystery box. I don't know if you're a Pokemon person and you've seen reviews of these. Let me. What did we get on the last one? Okay, we did get a Dark Energy. Four out of five at Psychic Energy. That's super weird. Matt, we need a really good Psychic Pokemon now. Crawdon, Ultra Ball, Clink, Dedene. Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetch'd. We got Bear Tick, Reverse, and a Mothim. Okay, so no, we did not get a strong Psychic, but we got four Psychic Energies. Let's see if this is a Psychic Pokemon. It is Melmetal? Is that what this is? Or the Evolution? Or is, I don't know. I never got this Pokemon in Pokemon Go because my account's been weird and I haven't completed the task. So, okay, we'll figure that out. That's one of those, the metal guy. Okay, so I don't think Pokemon did so well. I mean, they, well, they did have one good pack. So that could be enough, that one big pack. Let's see if Yu-Gi-Oh can beat it. Yu-Gi-Oh is getting a minus five deduction though. Keep that in mind because of the $5 advantage they have on the cost of the box. It's $30 versus 25. So let's see if I open this upside down. I'm gonna pull these out one at a time. So the structure deck is gonna give them a pretty big advantage having that guarantee. Let's see if I can pull that one. It is our favorite structure deck, Mechanized Madness. It is at least sealed, so that's cool. Uh, this one is probably only like eight bucks if I had to guess, but it could be 10, something like that. So it's already a, an advantage, even with the minus five. We'll just start off at three or five or whatever with the subtraction and then continue from there. So it's not confusing. Okay, I've got a couple of... Uh, there's sleeves in here next. Let's do those. We have the Miracle Fusion sleeves, which are really cool. People are telling me these peel really bad, which is sad. So maybe if you have some over sleeves, they'd work. But they look really nice, though. They look incredible, I will say. So I'm a fan of those. That's probably another five bucks. So we're already maybe even past Pokemon. I'm hoping those two big pulls at least still have the lead. Let's see if we have to pull something for... There's a couple of blisters in here. Let's start with this one. Ooh, Power of the Elements first edition. That's a good pack. Very solid. I mean, got some reprints, but still some really good cards in here. DPE Starlight, please. What? I would not mind pulling that at all. First edition. Let's see what we can get. DPE. One, two, three, four. Let's go. I remember when they announced this. I was at the YCS. They did the little thing with the voice actors, and we found out DPE was going to be a Starlight. Sprite Red. Sprites are crazy good. We got uh, maybe not as good anymore, I think. We have Tyramunts. We have Scannon. Scar of the Vindred, Venuslip of the Thawing Mountains. We have Crosskeeper and Venuslip of the Awakening Forest. He doesn't look like he's awake, awakened, but maybe she's awakening him or he is awakening her or, you know, whatever. Not the best pull there to start. We only have how many packs in here? I forgot, only four booster packs and a mystery pack. So we should have five. Where's the fifth? Oh, there's one over here. Okay, it's fallen over. Oh, that was the Pharaoh Servant pack. So this is the one that fell over 25th anniversary Pharaoh Servant. So, so far I've gotten Pharaoh Servant. I think it was Dark Crisis and LOB. Was it Dark Crisis with the second one? Definitely got LOB. Could get Genzo. I mean, we would not be mad about that. One, two, three. Let's see if we can do it. We have Insect Imitation. Four Star Ladybug of Doom. Solemn Wishes. Gradius. Steel Ogre Grotto. Number two. Mystic Probe. Type Zero Magic Crusher. Light Force Sword and Jinzo time. Buster Blader. Infinite Dismissal. Goodbye. You will not be getting Jinzo. All right, that's fine. We got three more packs. I, it's probably a pretty close race at this point. Um, Let's just go. We'll save the blister for the last. Dawn of Majesty. I've been opening a lot of this recently out of mystery packs. Dawn of Majesty first edition. We're really looking for that Stardust Dragon. Starlight Rare. That's what we want. Once took us 13 cases to pull. Let's make it one pack to pull it. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have Pazuzel. 
Gunkin Sushi Ship Seaside Supper Spot. A lot of S's. We have Jar of Generosity. Flying Red Car. Converging Will's Dragon. Majestic Absorption. Gungan Sushi Ship. Akuru Class Dreadnought. We have Kanahana Shakuya. And. Oh, we got an Ultra. Konomaly Vamana. All right. An Ultra. I can't complain. Not guaranteed. So far, that. I mean, it's not a dollar. It's not going to help our cause at all. But so far, not bad. Let's see what the next one is. Okay, Lightning Overdrive. I mean, technically in this mystery box, we would get both a chance at Stardust Dragon, Starlight, and Black Rose Dragon, Starlight. Could be worse. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's not terrible. Okay, this is a Euro pack, so I don't know if we need to pack trick or not. I bet we still do. One, two, three, four. We'll find out. We have a Maze Attraction Rapid Racing. Watch out that they got some go-karts. Boo Boo Game. Basil Rose Shoot. Binary Blader. Paleozoic Cambro Roaster. Cambro Raster. I would say Roaster. Cambro Raster for sure. We have S Force Dog Tag. Judge of the Ice Barrier. Clock Arc. And we have one more card here. Here we go. Stardust. I mean, sorry, Black Rose. Proof of Preathless. Okay. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. In our final pack of this video, so far, Pokemon probably has the best pulls in terms of actually pulling them out of packs, but this has more value because of the, or close to as much value because of the starter deck and stuff like that. Let's see what the last pack has. Tactical Masters, they are really throwing, this is kind of a cool looking blister. Also, it's a little off center. You notice it's a little bit pushed that way. Interesting, that is definitely not in the middle. Maybe it's because of the pack. I'm pretty sure that's not in the middle still. But even then, I'm gonna miss these really cool blister packs because they're only gonna have the new Pokemon ones, which look cool in their own right, but these are so classic. This is how they did them back in the day. Probably less likely to break open on those other ones though, which is probably better for long-term. Tactical Masters, let's see if we can get a collector rare. Last pack match, we might need this to win, to be honest, because unless those two sealed items won it for Yu-Gi-Oh, they're definitely behind because they haven't pulled anything. Tactical Masters, come on. I like how a lot of these packs in here, in these mystery packs are Euro. I wonder if that's, I wonder if they're able to get those more easily. We have a Droll and Lock. Oh, that's money. That's going to matter. That's like $2, I think. That's going to matter. That might actually be important. Okay, Pendulum Fusion. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, this wasn't a Euro pack. Runic Freezing Curses, because there's a super right off the bat. Labyrinth, Astrograph Sorcerer, Invader, and Imperial Iron Wall. Okay, not great for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Box, but what's new there? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more versus Mystery Box battles versus anything with other TCGs or more Pokemon in general, make sure to let me know. Or if you just like the Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, that's okay too. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.